Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of composite fiber optic cables, what they are, how they work, and most importantly, the common mistakes to avoid when using them. Now, whether you're in a data center's telecommunications or industrial applications, these cables are essential. So let's get started. And if you're feeling overwhelmed with your tech projects or need advice on your networking setup, we're here to help. We're offering free tech consultation to all of our viewers. Whether you have questions about composite fiber optic cables, network configuration, or any tech-related problem, just reach us to us through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. First off, what exactly a composite fiber optic cables? Now picture this, they're sleek, modern, and combining two power conductors, a grounding cable and two strings of LC single mode fiber optic cable all in one package. Now, this unique design allows for efficient data transmission and power delivery simultaneously. But how do they work? Essentially, the fiber string transmit data through light speed. And while the copper conductors provide power, and this dual functionality makes them a popular choice in various high demand environments. And you will commonly find these cables in data centers where high speed connectivity is crucial, in telecommunications for efficient signal transmission, and in industrial setting for robust data handling. And the versatility of composite cables cannot be overstated. So now let's talk about something critical, proper installation. Now, even the best cable won't perform if it's not installed correctly. So from ensuring that you're using the right connectors to following manufacturer's guidelines, installation is key to maximizing performance and longevity. All right, so now let's jump into the meat of the video. The common mistakes to avoid when working with composite fiber optic cables. And we'll break down each mistake and provide tips to keep your installation smooth and efficient. Mistake number one, incorrect cable selection. Choosing the wrong type of composite cable can lead to performance issues. So make sure you match the fiber type. We have single mode and mounted mode according to your environment. Single mode fiber are great for long distances, while mounted mode works best for shorter runs. Also, don't forget to check the copper power rating. If your application requires higher power, using a cable with a lower rating could cause overheating or failure. So always consider factors like fiber distance limitation, power requirements, and whether it's for indoor or outdoor use. Mistake number two, incorrect cable bending. Now look at this. Bending the cable too sharply can lead to signal loss or even damage. And this is a frequent mistake. So always adhere to the manufacturer's specific band radius to avoid attenuation. And you can also use a band radius guide tool to help you out and always follow those guidance. Mistake number three, poor connector installation. Now, poorly installed connectors can cause significant signal loss or connection failure. So we recommend using pre-made fiber optic cable. You don't even need to worry about the connectors. And you should always clean your connectors and ensure proper alignment. And consider using high-quality pre-terminated cable for faster and more reliable installations. And mistake number four inadequate cable protection. Now here's an example of an exposed fiber optic cable in rugged outdoor environments. Now failing to protect this cable from UV rays, moistures, and extreme temperatures can lead to degradation over time. So you can invest in cable protection solution like armored cable, UV resistant jackets, and weatherproof enclosure. They offer long-term benefits, especially in harsh environment. Mistake number five, 
ignoring grounding requirements. Now check this out. Here's a scenario where grounding isn't done properly. Now proper grounding of the power components is crucial to prevent electrical hazard and interference. So you should always follow local electrical code and use surge protection, especially for outdoor installations where lightning risks are higher. And this simple step can save you from costly repairs. And lastly, mistake number six, lack of future proving. Now installing cables that only meets your current needs without considering future expansion can be short-sighted. So think ahead, you should opt for higher rated cable like 10G fiber and higher power copper to augment future upgrades. You can consider using modular connectors and scalable system for flexibility down the line. So to wrap things up, I highly recommend checking out our new armored composite fiber optic cable. Now it features enhanced durability and it's designed for both performance and protection, sending both power and data at the same time. If you're interested in learning more about it, you can check out our next video that linked here. Now, thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips. And until next time, keep your cables tidy and your signal strong.